starting off with some mobility today. So today is not going to be as exciting as it has been. I am, I'm actually fasting today. And normally I wouldn't tell people. Um, however, I kind of want you guys to see what a fasted workout would look like in case you guys are ever fasting. And there's a whole bunch of different reasons people fast, you know, for health reasons. Sometimes people do intermittent fasting, trying to, you know, lose some weight. Oh, yep, there it is. Um, I personally do it for more of a spiritual reason. Whenever you can control the desires of the flesh, obviously I want to eat right now. However, if I can you know, not give in to, to the things that my body wants. I can become more spiritually strong, spiritually connected to God and connect to him a little bit better. All right, so the reason that I'm getting my pec minor, man, my arm's like going numb. So I believe that my overhead position is not very good because my pec minor is really tight, specifically on this left side. So if I can get that to loosen up, I will get a much better overhead position for my snatches. I believe that this is the reason that my forearm got tweaked about two or three months ago, um, which led to my wrist also hurting. So kind of just trying to take, take care of those aches and pains. All right, so even though I'm fasting guys, I am still trying to improve today. The goal of every training session should be to get better. And now better does not always mean stronger, which ultimately that's the goal, you know, is to lift the most amount of weight possible. However, if I can improve my mobility, if I can improve on an injury, if I can improve technique, uh, then it's definitely a win for the day. So today just working on, you know, some mobility, taking a little bit of extra time mobilizing, and then I'm going to Consider today more of like a technique day than a, like a strength building day. So we'll see how it goes. Man. Yup, there it is. <laughs> how many of you guys laugh when you hurt? <laughs> Cause I know I'm not the only one. Ooh. <laughs> Sometimes I laugh in like the most awkward situations too <laughs> and just make everything way worse. <laughs> Ooh. Like I remember I was in the dean's office one time in, in high school and my dean was going in on me. I did something. I'm not going to tell you guys what I did, but I wasn't a bad kid. I just made a mistake. <laughs> And uh, I, I couldn't help but like, like chuckle a little bit when I was getting in trouble. It's not that I wasn't taking it serious. I just, uh, I was just awkward. I felt awkward. So I started laughing, just like right now. Ooh, yup. <sighs> I'm in pain, but I'm just gonna release it with laughter. Laughter is the best medicine. Mm. Yup. Oh, that's way too short for me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Got some little people up in this gym. Like Dustin. <laughs> All right. I've actually started incorporating this. Anytime I'm going overhead. Oh, man. It's a good little isometric hold for your posterior chain. As well as super... Engaging my upper back. There goes my microphone. Oh, yep. I'll hit like one or two sets of that. And we're ready for it. Now I'm hitting a little bit more wrist slash slap mobility here. So the key on these is you don't want to see a big lower back arch when you're doing this. You actually want to keep tension in your lats, almost like cat back it, and then drive that elbow forwards and up, trying to keep as many fingers on that bar as you can. I do like five to 10 per side alternating, and then five to 10, both elbows at the same time. 
All right. And typically you want to hit some sort of primer. Today I'm going to hit some snatch balances. Dude, I don't know what's going on with this mic today, man. That's the second time. I'm just gonna have to tuck it in my underwear or something. What it is, is I have a pocket with a zipper, but the zipper broke. And then the front pocket, it's like, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit the, the bar with it, you know? My mic fell out again. That's all good. So, I actually did tuck into my underwear. <laughs> so, whoever records next, whether it's Matt or Kirk, you're welcome. All right, so the, today's technique is we're doing a high pull and then uh Bang, snatch. <laughs> there he is. I was just talking about you, man. I No, I, I have a present for you. You'll uh, find out later what it is. <laughs> All right, so like I said, today's more of a technique day. So the whole point of the snatch high pull is to make sure that I'm A, actually driving through my quads and the extension and be just kind of getting that timing down of when to extend and pull and then lastly also making sure it's staying close so one of my biggest problems on snatch is that when i extend i kind of let that bar get away from me and then it loops on the way back up and that's why i miss behind me a lot so this is kind of forcing me to stay close and it's ingraining that movement pattern to keep that bar closed. Still warming up. I feel like I don't move the bar well till it gets heavier. Especially in comp, I'm like, embarrassed because <laughs> it looks like trash <laughs> i'm like don't watch me oh i felt that bar brush my hair a little bit that's how you know you're keeping it close oh yeah much better so I used to make fun of people all the time for loading their plates like this. <laughs> oh man. And now here I go. Yeah, you're right. You know what? That's a good point, bro. Every time we're loading, we're, uh, we're straight on pull down. Definitely feeling that wrist. Still got it though. Gotta smack that water, gotta stay hydrated. So, I actually have uh, aminos in my water because I'm a heathen <laughs> and even though I'm fasting um, I still allow myself to have black coffee which is my pre-workout and I allow myself to have aminos not sorry it's not aminos I, see my brain's not even working that's how out of it I am from the fast um, Electrolytes, that's what I'm trying to say. 
So black coffee and electrolytes for my workout. And I feel my wrists, so that's why I'm wearing these wrist wraps. I've never really trained with them before, but you gotta do what you gotta do to get through these sessions. More legs, more legs. Yeah, that's a good working weight for today. I don't want to go too heavy. Don't want to pass out. Let's go use those legs. Like I said, I like to talk to myself. Whenever I'm lifting. Ah, oh, I forgot my wrist wraps. Dang it. That's all right. Threw me off. Dog. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, definitely. I like talking to myself. Not like a weird way. I'm not hearing voices in my head. <laughs> but the power of life and death's in the tongue, seriously. Like how many negative thoughts do we entertain throughout the day? There's just negative language in our society as is. Like, let's look at a stoplight. Why do we call it a stoplight versus a go light? When you buy some bread, the end piece, we call it the end piece, not the start piece. You know, so I think just in general, like, our terminology is negative. So I just like to speak a little more positivity out there. Especially to ourselves, man. We beat ourselves up so much. Like when I record these workouts, first thing I notice is everything I could have done better. Whether it be my technique, whether it's the angle of the camera, whether I, I spoke weirdly. <laughs> you know, we all we hate hearing ourselves talk too, you know? So it's like the first thing we notice is the negatives, but sometimes you just gotta hype yourself up. Oh, I, won't let the rocks. I know you can't hear my music, we edited it out, but got some worship music playing. Get my mind right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just doing one more set. I don't want to do too much. Like I said, I'm a major caloric deficit right now, so I'm not going heavy. I'm not even doing too many sets light. It's really just going through the motions. <sighs> kind of training through the fatigue too. There's going to be days where we compete. We're not going to be feeling like competing. Bring yourself back to these sessions. We didn't feel like doing it. Sometimes we just got to do what we don't feel like doing, you know? Like if you do it in the weight room, it becomes a lot easier to do it outside of the weight room. You know, this is the perfect place to train it, train the decision. There's a reason it's called the training room. You train physically, you train your, your mind up. 
Like if you choose to do the things you don't want to do in here, it becomes so much easier to do the things that you don't want to do out there. You know, which is part of the reason we fast as well. It's like Paul said, you know, we beat our body into submission. Like if I can allow my body to be uncomfortable, if I don't tell, if I don't let my body tell me what to do, like granted I'm hungry, but I'm not going to feed the flesh. Obviously <laughs> we need to eat to survive. That's not what I'm saying, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to die from not eating a day, two days, three days, five days, you know, like I tell you what to do, Bonnie. You won't tell me what to do. Just like we're about to hit these weights, man. I tell, I tell these weights what to do. That's why we don't walk up to that bar scared. Yup. That bar is going right where I want it. What I say? That's it guys, that's all I'm gonna show you today.